up everyone it's your girl brain Sinead, and today i'm going to be doing part three of my book haul yes i have too many packages and that's why i have a part three but let's go ahead and get started with this first package which this is a pre-order from barnes and noble which i have a feeling i already know what it is yes all right so this is a uh, mongwa this is the um third volume of why I really Anna ended up at the Duke's mansion. I really have been enjoying this series a lot. It's very cute. And even on the back, it says one's love and one's fate are up to them and them alone. Uh, so I'm looking forward to reading this next one. Um, <clears throat> I love like the pictures. I, I just love the graphics on it. It's really beautiful and it's colorful. So I'm really excited to jump into this one. Um, I'm probably going to wait until when um, another 30 and 30 happens. Um, but who knows? I might just read it anyway. We shall see. But I had pre-ordered this and I cannot wait to read it. The next package is also a pre-order and this is going to be from Barnes and Noble. So let me see if I can open it. Oh, yes, okay, I'm excited for this. And I know you've heard Brie and uh, I, Adrian and I have been talking about this book forever since we um, read um, the um what is it the blood trials <laughs> and so this is the second and final book this is the, a duology and so we have the blood gift by N.E. Davenport and just look at this cover it is giving and I love it I'm here for it um I definitely this is probably gonna be a book that I end up reading in June um I just oh, it looks so good and if I take the dust jacket off it's red with this um the other book the blood trials it was blue so of course now this is red and I just I love it and I cannot wait I'm not even going to read the synopsis because I feel like I'm going to spoil it but just from what it says right here it says in the stunning conclusion to N.E. Davenport's fast-paced action-packed side fantasy duology elite warrior Akena and her rogue cohort must outrun bounty hunters their former comrades and a maglomanical demig demigod all in the hopes of saving their friends and enemies from the racist and misogynistic oppression that threatens the continents from all sides so yes i'm really looking forward to this and i'm glad that i got my copy and it's just so beautiful and stunning so i got this this is going to be from blackwell's and I'm really excited for this one. I wanted, I already have a copy of this one, but I wanted to get this edition. So let me go ahead and open this. Oh, if I can open it without tearing it up too badly. Or actually, no, this is something different. Oh my gosh, okay. I completely forgot that I had ordered this. Okay, sorry y'all. It's taking me a, a time to open this box. I got it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and I'm excited. I completely forgot that I had ordered this. And this is a signed exclusive edition. Oh, wow. Okay, so I had, I don't remember ordering this, but oh well. I have Lady McBathed. She will be queen, whatever it takes. And this is by Isabel Schooler. And this is the signed exclusive edition. And so here it is where it is signed. And then if I take the dust jacket off, this is what it looks like. And let me go ahead and read the synopsis because I don't remember what this book is about. So it says, daughter of an outsted, outsted king, descendant of ancient druids. As a child, it is prophesied that one day Gruch will be queen of Alba. When she is betrothed to Duncan, heir-elect, this appears to confirm the prophecy. She leaves behind her home, her family and her close friend, Mac Macbethed, and travels to the royal, se uh, royal seat at Scone to embrace her new position. But nothing is as Gru Guach, I, I don't, Gruach, I don't know how to pronounce her name, anticipates. Duncan's court is filled with sly words and unfriendly, unfriendly faces, women desperate to usurp her position and others whose motives are shrouded in mystery. As her coronation approaches, a deadly turn of events forces Grouch to flee Duncan and the capital. 
Finding herself alone, vulnerable and at the mercy of an old enemy, her hope of becoming queen all but lost. Gruch, Gruch does what she must to survive, vowing that one day she will fulfill her destiny and take up the future owed to her, whatever it takes. So this sounds really interesting. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Oh, look at the end paper. Look at that. That's pretty. Okay. I was, I completely forgot that I had ordered this, but I'm glad that I ordered it because this sounds like a great book. <laughs> um, but even on the back, it says, Isabel Stewart's Lady Methbeth achieves the unthinkable, the unthinkable. Um, I can't talk right now. The unthinkable transforming Shakespeare's wicked queen into an empathetic heroine, Laura Shepperson. Love, revenge, power, and lust. Lady Macbeth has it all and is impossible to put down. Grouch will stay with me for a long time. So these are all little blurbs on the back here. But yeah, I'm excited to get into this book. Next one we have is Fairy Loot. I'm not sure if this is the Dalt or um, the YA book. I know that they had a new subscription where you can get the combo um, book as well. So it's a little bit cheaper when it comes to shipping. So in the combo um, subscription, I'll be getting um, the adult and the YA in one box. So let's see what's in this one. I think the combo actually um, subscription started uh, earlier this month, early in May this month. But let's see what's in this one. So... Yep, this is the young adult uh, young adult box. Here is the little card, art card right here, art print for it. And then let me take this out. So here we have it. Here is a little packaging where it says happy reading. And then we have the letter from the author, which I will be reading out loud to you, to you all because I feel like a uh, author's letter can be not only ins inspirational to me, but also, also inspiring and inspirational to you as well. And so the book is going to be Silver in the Bone. This is by Alexandra Bracken. I think the last book that I read by Alexandra Black, uh, Bracken, Bracken was um, Lore, I believe. So this is her newest book, um, which is right here. And then here are the end paper, like the edges the sprayed edges which is beautiful of her holding a sword that's really neat and then if I take the oh this is neat if I take the dust jacket off this is what it looks like so if I open it it looks like this and then here are the end papers right here which it shows scenes from the book itself hmm I'm very interested to see what this book is about I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this book in particular um because I know people weren't really a fan of lore but who knows let's see what this one is about <clears throat> so it says Tamsman Lark is a hollower um breaking into the ancient crypts of dark sorceresses in search of the treasures inside now rumors are swirling about a powerful ring from Arthurian legend a ring that could free her brother Cabell from a curse but they aren't the only ones who covet it as words as word spreads, greedy hallowers start circling, and many would kill to have the ring for themselves. Tamsin is forced into an alliance with her rival Emrys, the last person she wants to rely on. Together they dive headfirst into a viper's nest of dark magic and expose a deadly secret with the power to awaken ghosts of the past and shatter her lost hope of saving her brother. It says driven by love, revenge, and pure adrenaline this is the stunning new novel from one of the top fantasy authors writing today hmm all right well I'm interested to see if you know what this is about but yeah this is what her last book was was lore um so yeah and look at the spine that's really pretty I didn't even like notice that until just now so yeah we have this I'm really excited to read this I I liked lore but I thought it could have been better so we'll see how I feel about this one so there is that. And then we have this package, which I opened it already. <laughs> and this book came out a while ago. It's a picture book. And this is, was the promotional box right here. It says, you will do great things, which I can't wait to read this to my kids. And as I open it, this is what it looks like. It says, be bold, be strong, my dreamer, whatever you may choose. I know you'll do great things because greatness is in you. And I probably will definitely keep this box because it's really pretty. 
So with this, we have postcards. So here's this first one right here. And then we have another postcard where it says, but don't give up, just try again and you'll succeed at last. So here's that one. The other one, it says, I know you'll do great things because greatness is in you. And like I said, these are little postcards. And this is a note from the author, which is Anne Marie, which I believe y'all all know Anne Marie. <laughs> a note from the author, which I do like this art print as well. It says, I wrote this story for my son to share my hopes and dreams for him. Um, it says, to, so he knows that life is grand and intimate and new. To, so he knows this, this journey is going to be, yeah, I don't know. I can't read this. I don't know what this says. Sorry, y'all. But I have no idea what this says. Um, this journey is going to be amazing, I'm assuming. And because all our kids should know, you you, uh, you got this <laughs> from my heart to yours. Sorry, y'all. I, I was trying to read this. I'm like, wait, what does this say? But yeah, we have this. So I'm definitely going to keep the postcards and the author note. And then we have the book itself by A. Marie, You Will Do Great Things, illustrated by Risa Figueroa. And here is the cover of the book, which is beautiful. I do love this. I cannot wait to read this to my children. And then this is what it looks like if I take the little dust jacket off right here. And even for this, it says, you'll do great things wherever you may go. It says, the great, the amazing, the strange, and the new. This is a lyrical and encouraging celebration of everything our little ones have yet to do and will. It's also a lasting reminder that the loved ones in our lives will always be right there beside us and in our hearts, cheering us on through each and every step of life's magical adventures. It says, best-selling author and Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, Anne Marie has written a moving, sweeping, and deeply loving story that is inspired by her own family and may inspire yours as well. So yeah, it's cute. Even on the back, it says, be bold, be strong, my dreamer. Whatever you may choose, I know you do great things because greatness is in you. So we have this and, oh, just look at the pictures and stuff of the family sitting at the table yeah I'm just I'm excited to read this this looks like a great book and I'm really excited for this so I really do appreciate the publisher for sending me this book it's really really nice and like I said I'm definitely going to be keeping this box because it's cute <laughs> and it's it's a nice little decorative thing so I'm definitely keeping this so let me put these postcards in the book and now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to read the author note <laughs> that I got for Alexander Bracken, which I will read that now. Um, it says, Dear Reader, I have a confession to make. I love Inya. Um, Unironically and deeply, she remains my top artist on Spotify for three years running. I realized a few months ago that what I really aspire to be, to, to inspire to as an, as an author is to be able to capture readers the same way Anya captures me as a listener. When I hear her music, I feel transported to the world of, of that song. I'm moved by the beauty of her voice and the emotion it carries. This story will take you across the boundary of this world and into Av Avalon, the mystic isle of a Thorian legend. It's a place that captured my imagination at a young age, in part, in part because there's so little written about it in the lore. One of the great joys of writing this book was the freedom to imagine it um, imagine it any way I'd like and to populate it with characters who absolutely stole my heart. While this is the story of a treasure treasure hunt, it's really about the links we're willing to go, uh, willing to go, willing to go to in order to save our loved ones. I hope you love the book too and that it transports you from the first page. Happy reading. Love, Alexander Bracken. So yeah, so this is her author note and I thought that was really nice. So always going to keep the author note in my book. Sorry that I skipped that. <laughs> Completely forgot. And then the next thing we also have another picture book, which was um, sent by another publisher, which hence why it was semi-opened already. And the next one we have is Wombat, the Reluctant Hero. And this is written by Christian Trimmer and illustrated by Rachel Guam. So we have this one right here. It says on the back, a story about the power of community, which says that here. And if I take the dust jacket off, of course, this is what it looks like when I take it off. 
but on here it says wombat liked her things just so everything had its place and nothing was out of order she couldn't say the same about her neighbors but that was their business and wombat didn't concern herself with others business um, and it says when a very hot dry summer causes dangerous fires in the neighborhood a group of animals are desperate to find water and shelter it'll take the quiet heroism of a neighbor to provide resources in a cozy cool and safe burrow a reluctant wombat who demonstrates the true importance of community. So yeah, the, I'm sure my kids are going to really love this and appreciate this story. So I cannot wait to read this to them as well. So we have this. And then we're to our last and final package, which I've, I had this for a while. These are special editions. I haven't read the books yet because I was waiting for my editions to come in the mail and they have. I just been trying to find ways to create space for them because my space is limited <laughs> and my husband won't let me get another bookshelf, but it's it, I'm where I'm, I'm about to negotiate something with him about that. <laughs> about to make negotiations. But let me go ahead and open this. This is a special different diff, special editions from a Loomer crate. So here we go. So the first book, which they made sure they bubble wrapped it, made sure it was in perfect condition, um, made sure it didn't get messed up. And I'm really excited to get into these books finally. So this is the newest book that just came out this year by this author. This is the prequel, A Day of, A Day of Fallen Night by um, Samantha Shannon. And here is the special edition, the Loma Crate special edition of this particular book. And I just love how it looks. It looks so beautiful. Um, and it's also signed by the author. And if I take the dust jacket off, this is what it looks like. Like, look at that. And then here are the end papers. Just look. That's just stunning and beautiful in itself. Like, just look at that. That is beautiful. So I, I had to get the special editions for these. Um, I've been wanting to read these books for a while, especially when the first book came out. I've just been like slacking pretty much, but I, I'm excited. So here is the, first, the second book that just recently came out. And then here is the first book that I need to read before I read this one. And let me get this. <clears throat> Right. and there we have the Priory of the Orange Tree as well and look at that it's just gorgeous and beautiful I love the detail of what they've done of course they have the little ribbon as the bookmark as well to keep your your place and then if I take the dust jacket off of this one this is what it looks like and it's beautiful and stunning and I love it and then here are the in papers as well so yeah I had <laughs> I couldn't I, I had to get them like because I was trying to get the special editions from the broken uh the broken binding they sold out fast I had no chance of getting those but I was able to get a chance of getting these and just look how beautiful they are together uh, I just I'm in love with them I'm in love so I had to get these and now I definitely have to I gotta read the book now since I have both of them <laughs> I have no excuses now but these are all the books for this last and final book haul since I did three parts of it because <laughs> I had a lot of mail so let me put this in a pile so everyone can see and here we are these are the books that I've gotten for this book haul part three. But I really hope to enjoy this video. I know it was all over the place, um, but that's me, you know, take me as I am. Um, like I said, I really hope to enjoy this video. If you did, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you all for watching and I hope everyone is staying healthy and staying safe. See ya.